It involves, um, well, I've, hear, I've heard it from two people now. First one was uh, a debate between Webster Tarpley and Adam Kokesh. And the second one was between this guy, and, uh, I'm, I'm sure you know him, Tom Hartman and Libertarian Wayne Root. In both cases, what they said was, advocate any sort of removal of people off of food stamps or ending of any kind of program, a government program that would, you know, make it more difficult for them to get those free handouts, then you are advocating genocide. And they said that almost verbatim. Sure, sure. Well, I mean, I, in a way I can understand where they're coming from. The only way that you could cut social programs is if you repudiate the debt. Right? Because if you cut social programs and then you expect the American population to pay off 70, 80 trillion dollars of unfunded liabilities, I mean, that's just going to make a revolution, right? Right. And then, the, I mean, I'm sure the powers that be are looking at the Arab Spring and they're seeing what happens when people run out of food and they're like, well, shit, <laughs> that's not very helpful to us, right? So you can't, you, I don't think you can morally cut social programs without. Uh, repudiating the debt, right? Now, if you cut social programs and you repudiate the debt, then, frankly, you can you can have no income tax because in America, of course, the income tax only goes to service the debt, right? People think it's the making right. roads and hospitals. Yet it's not. It's just going to service the debt, right? So if you say to people, look, we obviously want to phase out these programs for moral reasons and practical reasons, but not keeping everything else constant. But how would people do if they didn't have food stamps, but no one had to pay income tax? And then people would say, well, they don't pay income tax to people on food stamps. It's like, that's not the point. The point is that in the entire economy, nobody's paying income tax, which means that they can go and buy a whole bunch of other stuff that they've wanted and needed which is going to generate massive amounts of job demands, right? Yeah. And they're going to say, well, what about the mom who's got six kids who needs the food stamps, right? At, at which point I will say, well, whenever taxes go down, charitable donations go up. And so I think that most people obviously would not say that that's a very responsible woman to have six children and no provider, that she's obviously made terrible mistakes and done some very bad things, but of course the children shouldn't be the ones to pay for that. It's not their fault that their mother couldn't keep her legs crossed. And so we would help those people out, and they'd say, well, how would you guarantee that that help would be enough? Uh, to which point I would say, but you are not in reality. Because in your fantasy land, food stamps can continue forever. And anything that I suggest to replace them is, in your mind, changing from some perfect world where the welfare state and our existing system can continue forever. That is a fantasy land. The reason we need to change, obviously there are very important moral reasons, but the reason we need to change these programs is we either have a soft landing or we have one hard, hard landing, a crash. These systems, these programs, are completely unsustainable. We're either going to find a way to transition people off these programs in a reasonable, moral, productive way, or we're just going to run the hell out of money and then these people are completely and totally screwed. It is compassion for the poor through which libertarians recognize that the existing systems of, let's call them charity for want of a better word, that's how the status see them, the existing systems are completely unsustainable. We're either going to find a way to transition off them in a rational, measured way where jobs are waiting and charity is waiting and there's a, a way to get people away from this trap, this roach motel of welfare, or we're just going to run out of money 
and the checks will stop coming and there will be blood in the streets. So anybody yeah. who thinks that whatever solutions voluntarists or libertarians come up with is somehow comparing to some perfect magical system where these benefits just keep flowing despite the completely obvious math that they can't is delusionary and actually I would argue is an incredible enemy and danger to the poor. Well, because that's they the are thing, they cannot possibly Sorry. survive. 